Hey guys, it's Limbo here. Real quickly before the video starts, I want to give some quick definitions to the terms and things that I say. When I say bot lobby, I don't mean actual AI robots that he's playing against. When I say bot lobbies, I mean that he's playing against real players who are really bad at the game that are playing like robots. I'm not saying that they're actual robots. They just play like robots and they're extremely bad at the game. Next is two boxing. Two boxing is a method to manipulate the matchmaking in Call of Duty to get easier lobbies. All you have to do to two box is have an alt account and or device, have them at a low level with zero to no playtime and or give them a negative KD. And all you have to do is join parties with that alt account, have that alt account queue up to a game. And once you find the map and game mode that you want and teams are being made, you make that alt account leave and keep your main account within that bot lobby. And I quickly want to reaffirm this. I do not think that Hero is a hacker. By hacker, I mean someone that uses aimbot, walls, stuff like that. I think that Hero is cheating the matchmaking. And what I mean by that is that he's manipulating the matchmaking in some way, either with a two box method and or a method that we don't know. He is manipulating the matchmaking in some way. I just wanted you guys to know that and I didn't want to be taken out of context by someone responding for Hero or Hero himself. Enjoy. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lubo here, and in today's video, we're going to be exposing Call of Duty's fakest content creator, Mark of a Hero. This guy's a lying manipulator to his entire community about his matchmaking, about his lobbies, about his gameplay. And you might be wondering, Limbo, why are you doing this? What is your motivation behind this? Well, for me, I'm trying to get rid of the fake content creators within the Call of Duty community, the people who lie to their community, who just use their community for clicks, views, and money. And I'm trying to expose the truth. No one likes being lied to by a content creator. And when you have someone like Mark of a Hero who lies and manipulates the community and the game with how he denies all these allegations, when there's definitive proof, then it has to be called out even more. We're going to be talking about multiple things about Hero from how he two boxes, why he streams on an alt account, the main problem that so many people have with him and what needs to be done. So look, we searched up Hero and out of the first seven videos, three of them are videos about him getting exposed and they have more views than, you know, all of Hero's videos here combined, bro. This is definitive proof that multiple viewers of heroes, thousands of viewers have been manipulated and lied to by Hero. He's not a nice guy, bro. Even though I'm subscribed to the Rick and I've watched these videos, I'm still sure it'll show up for an incognito account. So I'm in a new incognito account. Let's go to youtube.com, right? Mark of a hero. Literally, the videos are still there. So it's not just because I was subbed to the Rick and I've watched these videos. People who are not sub to the Rick and or viewers of Mark over here, when you search up his name, these exposed videos come up still. And let's check out Hero 2 Boxing. Let me give you guys some proof. Okay, we're on his main channel live. Oh, oh, oh. Five years ago. Where's your most recent live streams? Oh my God. Oh my God. He, he doesn't go live, so he doesn't reverse boost or and or uh, 2 box. Let's go over to his Twitch videos. Uh, whoa, whoa. Where, where, what? He was, wait, what? Where's his most recent videos? His last videos from three years ago. That's one minute and 52 seconds. And his most recent clips. Wait. Wait, look, where, where's the clips? We're going to go check out the clips here. Where's the stream? The clips past broadcast has expired and chat replay is no longer available. Where's the actual stream? Well, I'm going to show you guys where the stream is, okay? For some odd fucking reason, right? Mark of a Hero streams on an alt account an alt YouTube account, and he removes the Twitch VODs, right? So when you just search up Hero and you get his main account, the one with a bunch of followers and subscribers, you won't see his most recent streams. So you can't really prove. An average viewer, right? An average person is not going to go this deep into the rabbit hole. But we click on YouTube.live, right? This is the stream. He streams on a smaller account with only 2.2K subs. That's all from shorts. And when's the latest post? October 1st, 2022. Come the fuck on, bro. Community eight months ago. Okay. Right? But only five likes. And only 31 votes. So it's not really getting pushed out to people. So you might be wondering, why does Hero strip on this? Because in almost every video, I'm pretty sure, in, in most videos, he says that he did this live on stream. That's his counter argument to people saying that he two boxes all that stuff and that he cheats. Well, he did it live on stream. So, you know, you can see it for yourself. But when you go to Hero's main channel, it's not even there for Twitch and YouTube. And it's just embarrassing the lengths he goes to to hide his streams and from being exposed, dude. So let's see him actually get into a match here, right? He goes from controller, tabs out to keyboard and mouse, right? He's obviously clicking something off screen, right? 
And we'll see when he starts matchmaking. Starts hiding his screen at 514. If we go all the way over to 9, oh, like literally 930, he starts loading into a match and stops hiding his screen. Four minutes and 15 seconds to find a fucking match. I don't care if you have an 8.9 KD. Most times, matchmaking takes about two minutes, right? Even for high KD people. And let's see his actual game. Let's see how many people he spawns in with. Because that's a, that's also proof that he two boxes in some way. Because for two boxing, if you don't know what it is, I probably should have explained it better. But for two boxing, you get on your main account. Then with another console or something like that, you log into that console account, make the party leader the console. And this console is a level one with a negative KD, really bad stats, all that stuff, right? No time played at all. You match make, and then once you get to a lobby and the teams have been made and it starts loading in, you just leave that console account and you just keep your main account on there. But let's see how many people, you know, teammates he spawns in with. Oh my God. So about one, two, three, and him being the fourth. God, this game weird. Look what happens. His team's trying to get wiped. Triple. He doesn't have six teammates. Not even five. He has three fucking teammates. So, his bot account left, and he has an incomplete team. That's very sus. But let's see how these people play. You know, they're using the SCG. Level 51. Okay. Someone didn't, you know, just walk by him. Okay. The guy who somehow whiffed the shots. Level 26. Okay, 56. Or 51, 26. Look at it. Look. <laughs> Come on, guys. Nine seconds into the game, basically. Um, it's shipment hard point and with how harsh SPM is in small map and how sweaty small map mosh pit is This is ridiculous. This guy has a high KD He should be going against people that are similar KDs at him and or the same skill because his skill rating is gonna be a lot higher If you don't know what I'm talking about look at the Activision skill based matchmaking white paper, but dude How is this even believed to be not manipulated at all? There's people slide cancel on stuff, but there's not people using Real metal weapons. I see a DM-56. What the fuck? Like, there's no, you know, movement at all. And I don't care if it's his first game. I'll go even deeper into that. There's M13Bs being used from the other team. Modern Warfare 2 weapons. Like, what? I don't even know what to even say. Like, this is crazy. Chimera, I'm pretty sure that is. Or the um, M4 from Modern Warfare 2. Someone sitting still level 68. Some of the people he kills in this game or like level 900, but they're ass at the game. They're absolute bots. So he's getting bot lobbies, bro. Come on, man. Like, what the fuck is that? What is that? Okay, that guy slide canceled, but he didn't use Pika's advantage correctly. Oh my God. His teammates are even bots too, dude. Someone's standing still still. Like, what the fuck is this? His teammates are not even getting kills. Like, it's so obvious that he freaking two boxes and door manipulates the matchmaking in some way and he's doing this all in all account let's go an hour in right he's dropping nuke after nuke essentially let's let's go to the end of this game right nuke that's first hides the screen drops another nuke i assume yep and then his third or let's see his third game around 50 minutes he drops a nuke and then let's go to an hour long mark right here Really gonna drop a nuke. This is about his fourth game. Drops a nuke again. Right? Let's see his chat. Let's see how many people are in the chat that can actually see this. One, two, three, four, five. Five people in his YouTube chat. No one stream sniping him. And even if they were tried to, it's literally impossible with how hard skill based matchmaking is. Even if they had a VPN, it's still hard. Right? And yeah, he streams on Twitch, but we can't access his Twitch. We can't access the most recent stream. This guy is hiding his streams, streaming on an alt account so people don't expose him. And people who are trying to see if he's legit or not can't find the truth that easy. He's trying to hide this lie. And now he's being called out for the bullshit. Okay? And Mark of a Hero in the past has blocked, hide people's comments, and deleted comments talking about him manipulating the matchmaking. Okay? They've all talked about how he's a cheater on stuff and they get blocked immediately. Two boxing has gotten increasingly popular with Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, and creators are abusing it to get gameplays easier. Two boxing is ruining Call of Duty content creation by making people manipulate and lie to the communities. And it should not be like that, man. I'm going to be honest, man. A lot of the revenue that YouTubers make are literally all from people just viewing and engaging with their content. And the fact that creators like Marvel Hero have to lie to get engagement is absolutely insane. This guy is making money 
being a manipulative liar to his entire community. He is trying to hide away the fact that he two boxes. And when he gets called out for it, he denies and or avoids and or completely dodges the questions and allegation. The main problem that viewers have with YouTubers like Marco Hero who manipulate the matchmaking and lie about not doing it is the fact that we're being lied and manipulated too. And we don't want to support fake content and fake people. And he's going to so many lengths to make this lie believable to his entire community from old to new viewers. And people have a problem with this because if he had only admitted to it in every video and be truthful to his community, nobody would be calling him out. Everybody would not send this much hate towards the guy. Everyone has a problem with Hero and other YouTubers doing this because they're being ungenuine people to their community, to the people that make them money. And Hero has shown time and time again that he does not care. Every time he's questioned and or the conversation gets brought up, he avoids it, dodges it, silences the people that are going against him and exposing him and never acknowledges it and or is truthful to his entire community of supporters and people that watch him and make his living. That is the main problem that people have. And you might be wondering what could be done. Well, it's very simple. Just stop watching and supporting the guy. Don't give him any clicks and or views. And if we go to Hero's channel, and I know I should not be talking about my channel, you know what I'm saying? I don't get a lot of clicks and views and all that stuff, but, but at least I'm genuine and I'm not lying to my community. Like I don't make as much money as Hero does. I don't get the views that these other YouTubers do, but at least I'm truthful and being real with my community 24 fucking seven. And I'm not manipulating and lying to them to make a buck off them, dude. Well, let's look at Hero's channel, right? I'm assuming that this has happened before where he's been called out by other YouTubers and, you know, talk about within the community for being an obvious reverse booster and or matchmaking manipulator because his views have fallen off. Yeah, he gets some pop-up videos, 10K views, you know, close to 20K what he should be getting. And if you did not know, whatever amount of subscribers you have, you say, let's say 200K subscribers, you should be getting at least 10% of that. So Hero should be getting around 20K views, but he's clearly not. And he hasn't done so for maybe months or years now for multiple Call of Duty games because people know that this guy is not who he says he is. And if we just educate people about what Hero and other YouTubers do, which is lying and manipulating their communities, and then maybe, just maybe, he'll become more genuine and or leave the Call of Duty community. The main problem that I have with Hero is that he's a lying, manipulative YouTuber. And no viewer wants to be lied and manipulated to by their favorite content creator and or by any content creator at all. And I'm calling it out because it's getting ridiculous, man. People are defending and believing a lie and something that's not true. If Hero admits every video, every stream, and or even makes a response video and admits that he manipulates the matchmaking in some way, then all this would stop for him, man. Just tell the truth to everybody. But the reason why he doesn't do it, he wants to keep this lifestyle that he has right now alive. And lying and manipulating to his community and to new and old viewers is the way he has to do it. So that's my main problem with Mark of a Hero. The fake content within the Call of Duty community needs to stop and get rid of, and it starts with Hero. If you guys need any more proof from his streams, then I'm gonna link down his channel. But this is getting so out of hand within the Call of Duty community that it has to be called out and something needs to be changed. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe. If you guys agree with me, let me know. And if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments as well. But it's been your boy Limbo, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.